I think. Or maybe uh, they were. The bandit. We had the bandit at one time. Oh, no. That was your first one. Your dad had a Skeeter. Yeah, yeah. The so they were yeah. in the Skeeter and we were in yours up hey, bigger than this. And your dad scared the <laughs> shit out of me. I'm like, holy crap, because he's like, <laughs> we were following you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and to the great outdoors. We got a special video for you here today. It is me and my best friend, Craig, and we've got our dads out here for a father-son fishing competition out of kayaks. It is spring, we have bass moving around in the shallows. We are on a small lake, perfect for kayak fishing. Here's the deal, little background story. Me and Craig, how we really started our fishing bond together many years ago, probably 15, 16 years old. Our dads booked us a guide trip out to Lake Fork it was both of our first times out there. I ended up catching the biggest fish of my life at that time of nine pounds. We had an amazing time and we both became hooked on bass fishing. Several years later, we are all together again going out bass fishing and we've never all fished in kayaks together. So we all have them. We all have these Hobies, 12s or 14s, nice fishing kayaks, a lot of, a lot of history, a lot of, uh, a lot of trash talking that's taking place right now and here's here's going to be the team for the day it's going to be me and craig versus the dads uh craig's this is his first time out on the water this year uh i have been fishing a lot guys so i'm i'm sort of dialed in craig's fished here before i never have so we have that going for us our dads they just have you know 150 years of combined knowledge basically so <laughs> We'll see what they can put together. I think this is what we landed on. We're gonna go most fish, number of lures used caught, and then big fish is three points. There are the rules. We're gonna weigh in at 12.30 and see, do the dads still got it or do the sons dominate? I know Calvin's got his spinnerbait on. I got my lucky hat on too. Oh, he's got his big fish lucky oh, hat. Big fish hat. Gentlemen, start your engines. All right, let's do it. Commence dangling. Go, boys. Out. All right, Dad. I wish you luck, but I don't think there's a lot of hope, but we'll see. All right, y'all. We are probably dealing with uh, spawn and some post-spawn out here. Uh, this is typically um, one of my favorite things to throw right here in the, the spring, and honestly, you know, all through the post spawn nice little saucy swimmer there it's the 4.8 got it on a, a little quarter ounce hook and i'm throwing this on a uh, setup i really really wanted to fish this setup today this is one of our new two-piece uh traveling rods and it's a go-to spinning rod it's a 7.2 medium heavy so it makes it really good for throwing some of these bigger baits on a spinning setup. I could throw a lot of different stuff on it. So I thought it'd be good for the yak. Okay. Uh, Craig's on. All the way up there. All right, one fish, one lure. It was a hunt of Fish on. Oh yeah, got him on my pistol grip. You dragging me around a little bit. Uh, two pounder. Oh, there's another one. 
Hang on, no, we have three. That looks like a better one. All right, we got three on two. <clears throat> Gotta keep count. Got one that's taking me around the back here. Where's that scale at? Nah, he's, yeah, he's upper twos. Nice. All right, we got four on two, and we're gonna get a weight on this one. 262. Right, 262. See you, buddy. Not hearing a whole lot from the dads right now. Same one. All right, guys, we're throwing that blazing worm on a brush pile out here. So, these little posties, nice little posties. This blazing worm is an absolute shallow grass killer, but you can throw it on a Texas rig like this. Efficient in brush, too, and that little tail is good for coming through stuff so it doesn't get caught on the the twigs and all that. See if I can get another one. I feel like there should be a big one in here. I can't tell if I still have this fish on or not. I still feel him. seesawing him through here. I don't want to break him off. Yep, he's down in there pretty good. <sighs> Dang it. All right, we got seven. Seven on four lures. All right, I'm trying to take these out. All right, here's where the challenge of kayak fishing comes in. There's 10. I don't think anyone's fish back here behind this grass yet. Oh my gosh, look at that one right there. That one just ate. All right. Oh my gosh. There's 11. Oh. Yep. Oh, what a bite. Oh. That one just ate it like a frog. That was sweet. Steady blazing. Yes, sir. Whoo, man, that's a fun bite, y'all. I'm actually enjoying throwing this on the spinning combo. It's pretty slick. Oh! My gosh, this is a fun bite right here. Come get it again. There we go. That's a better one. That's a better one there. Fish on, baby! Woo! Gotta be garters, because they're coming back and tagging it. 
It's just a really good way to fish fast for these things instead of working that weightless bait really slow. I'm working a weightless bait, but I'm reeling it. Nice slender profile to get through this grass. This, this worm is just, it's the tits. Oh God, as soon as you hit the water. Yeah, that's a better one. I think that's 13. I just had one, I wasn't looking. That could be a big one because it just sucked it. Yeah, I think that was a nice one. Oh, there he was, Dad. It was a nice one, too. Oh my God, he ate it. That's a big one. You got your scale? He swallowed it. Okay. Two six. Two six, yeah, boy. Come on, baby. Be a good. That's decent. Fish off. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make an emergency stop at the truck for more lunker logs. Cause that is going to be, I think I can get a bigger bite just working on the outside. These are mostly aggressive males up shallow. Brought my big bag of everything. Just a hodgepodge bag. And of course. We're gonna get innovative here. Take the tail off of the blazing worm. This plastic is not as salty as the blazing. It's not gonna sink as well, but it's something to go weightless style here. Weightless on the grass lines. There's one. I mean, wacky style. Pretty unbelievable. Not sure where we're at. Catch wise, I gotta check in with Craig. I'm heading that way. The uh, area we just came from, that little cove. I got one, I would say on the outer edge of that is a really good spot to throw that popper. Oh. It's got me in some brush or something. This might be the brush. No, I got him, it's just grass. 17 bass. Oh, I'm gonna get a lipless out here. Yeah, they're pecking at it. Little peckers. Oh, here we go, first cast. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, they're not that big though. No, I thought they were big too, and then I ended up catching them, and they're like two pounders. Oh, there's one. Come here, baby. There we go, we're almost legal. Somebody catch a rogue giant. 
Nah, he's two. What's that? Swim bait fish, finally. 25. 25, and that's our uh, sixth lure. Six, seventh. Seventh lure, right there, baby. 25, seven lures. It's a little better fish. A lot of that going on. A lot of that. Oh, a lot of this, too. A lot of this to be had. Look, we got a tuna on now. Yeah. 242. Here we go, Justin. Probably about two seven. All right, guys, we got the numbers. Where's old Mondo? We got about an hour left of competition, guys. Me and Craig have 31 fish right now. And we've got seven different lures that we've caught fish on. So my dad, Craig's dad, they're over there dabbling. I don't think they have the numbers and I think they're probably right around the same same lures. I don't know, it's, it's actually pretty close. We've been going punch for punch here. Up in the shallows, uh, the Wacky Rig's absolutely crushing it. And probably the most fat, fun I've had all day so far is throwing the blazing worm like up in the stuff and getting those fish come up on top, just boom, 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 eat it, even though they're not huge. Just a lot, a lot of fun. Throwing it on that spinning rod is really cool too. You can skip it and get a lot, a lot of distance with it. There we go. Craig is on fire. Thirty-three. Oh. oh no! Come here! Oh, this looks like a better one. Oh gosh, it's a better one. Come here! Oh! Get him out. Uh. Oh! Let's freaking go! Oh yeah! Double up! That's a three. No. He got me really excited though. It was a fun bite. Smash that like button for that bite, y'all. That is some fun stuff. Like I said, this is the this is the funnest bite out here, in my opinion. Yeah, no Lots of it. I, I saw fish, but I, you know, I, I really wasn't watching it because everything's covered out here. So. I just went ahead and I cracked a little celebratory because I, I think we got it done. But let's see. Yeah, it feels super cool. So I, throw it out your way and back. Well, did you guys? Did you want to fish? Yes. Is that your back of fish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many? Put How them many on ice. Have in there. Cook them up. <laughs> Let's see the size of the yeah, meal. It's, it's time for weigh in. in. That's it. I caught several of uh, those small ones like that. That's pretty small right there. Yeah. All right. So, what, do you guys have a team name? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Old men, right? We're the dads. Know. Old dad. Dad. I, the grumpies. Is that it? We're the grumpies. The grumpies. The grumpies. Okay. Team. Team grumpies. Versus Team Prime, I think is uh, is appropriate. This is what Team Grumpy was catching today. Uh, we were instructed on this lake to extract fish that were under 14, 14. something like that. Me and Craig got on a little tear there at the end, but the rules were big fish basically takes the cake. Right. So did did anyone catch a fish over three pounds? Nope. So that leaves it up to. The number of lures, two for two. you. I, I had three. So five, oh, we'll give you but four we or five. five. We Whatever. had five. Whatever. Whatever. We had five. So uh, last fish of the day that I caught, swim jig. That is eight, uh, eight different lures for us. So we got a point there. Now, uh, so we're one up on you now. How many fish do you think you caught total? Eight. Thirteen. Eight and thirteen. Well. 
Craig and I, I believe we caught 41, 41 bass. Hey, do we have, do we have to keep going here? Can we just shut that thing off? And we sat in here and I think I heard somebody getting on a conference call or something. At that point, I was like, well, we got this in the well, bag. Yeah. It's turning. It's turning. All right, fishing freaks, good dangle today. The funnest part of the day for me is throwing up shallow with the blazing worm and fishing it like a buzz bait. That bite should get better and better for post-spawn fish. And if you guys fish shallow grass, you already know. Throw, throwing buzz style worms is really good. But if you have not tried that, give that a shot um, through the post-spawn. It's a really good technique uh, up there on those shallow fish if you don't want to throw like a frog or uh, you know it's a little too thick to throw like a buzz bait or a, any other top water through. Try that. And it was good to get out with the dads today. We haven't all four fished together in a really long time. Our dads got us into fishing and it is so cool to be able to reconnect with them now doing fishing and it's, it's almost like we're teaching them things most of the time so it's a different angle on it and it's the circle of life, man. It's cool, so smash that like button, and thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Uh, if you wanna pick up any of the new spring tackle as well, spring tackle, spring gear, you can use my promo code LFG, uh, cougsquad.com, link down in the description, and thank you guys for being here. We will see you on another outdoor adventure very soon on the next one.